Hi everyone, welcome to Murica Creations. Today is finally time to start the makeover of our dressing room slash walking closet, I guess you can call it. It was our master bedroom when we first moved here, but then we constructed a new space for our master bedroom and turned this room into kind of a walking closet. We took what we had on hand at the time, like an old wardrobe that was already here, some other stuff, and it has been kind of functional, but not very pretty. Now it's time to make it more beautiful and more functional as well. So I've been online, I've been to the thrift shops as well, but didn't find anything there. But online I found a couple of furniture pieces that I will flip today and make fit into the space. So stay tuned for this. For my first flip, I will make over this piece here, this credenza, this sideboard, if you will. I bought it um, at Facebook Marketplace for just 20 euros, about the same in US dollars, a steal. It has two shelves, no drawers, that's a shame, but it was such a good price, so I'm very happy with it. And um, I bought these at a flea market some time ago for three euros. I thought I will change out the hardware that's on this credenza and change them out for these two beautiful pieces. So they are a bit larger than the ones sitting there at the moment. I think they will turn out beautiful. First thing I will do is to remove uh, the existing hardware. They are super cute as well, so I will save them for a future project. The credenza had a back piece, this one here, and it was sitting like that, but I could not keep it there because it would cover the light switches. So I took it off and uh, I will do something with it. I will save it for later, but it will be included in this project, in this flip. I send off the piece lightly and then clean it properly to prepare it for painting. This video is part of the Third Thursday Thrift Flips Challenge hosted by the Rusted Willow and Rustic Chicks Design and their co-host for this month is MB Grey Designs. I will leave links to their channels down in my description box so you can check them out later and I will also leave a link to the playlist of this challenge down in my description box for more thrift flip ideas. Now it's time for painting and I have chosen a paint that I already had on hand. I thought it would look nice to have the same colour repeated in other rooms. So this is the one I have used in my living area on the walls. It's a satin colour and it's a greyish colour. It's a grey with a warmer undertones. So I am painting the credenza, applying two coats of this satin colour. I want to paint on the very inside of the credenza, just uh, where you saw me paint right there and on the top the same thing here. On the doors I'm using a paintbrush because um, I can reach into all the nooks and crannies of the texture of the piece. But then on the top, where I have more flat surfaces, I will go with a, a small roller, like you see me do here, much faster.
I'm also painting the shelves with the same color, applying two coats, back and front. I have cleaned the hardware and now I'm spray painting them in a black matte spray paint. Just the one coat. And the keys I decided to paint in a gold spray paint. Just one coat here as well. Now it's time for the back piece. I have painted it already, two coats. and. I'm making a shelf to put, um, not on the wall, but put on the credenza, but uh, raise it just a little bit. So I have marked out where we need to cut this uh, wood piece. So I'm holding it in place and Habe is doing the cutting. And after that cut, he took the jigsaw, just rounding the corners, like so. And then the hand router to curve the edge of the piece, make it look a little nicer. And here we have cut out smaller pieces, the brackets that will raise the shelf up, and I have drawn just a semicircle like that it will look like that and we will put four pieces in place for the stability then i will go in and sand the pieces and here we are screwing them into place using some wood glue and uh, some screws two in each bracket And uh, here we are preparing to attach the back piece to the shelf. Just drilling pilot holes like you see my hubby do here. And then put on some wood glue here as well. And then just screw it into place like that and the piece is ready to be painted but before i do the painting i need to cover the screw holes with some wood filler just putting that on and uh, set it aside to dry for a bit and meanwhile i'm putting on a layer of wax to protect the surface and here you can see the light switches just above the credenza and in the center there I have um, an electric thingy that goes to the skylight but doesn't work so that I will cover up with that shelf unit that we just made so I'm putting on wax where I think uh, there will be a lot of wear and tear on the doors and uh, on the inside there as well and on the top of course and here I'm painting the shelf unit and I'm on my second coat here and then it's just a matter of putting it in place. I will only place it on the credenza, I will not screw it into place or anything, I'll just sit there. Et voila, here it is, my beautiful credenza with the shelf on top of it. I think it turned out beautiful, love the piece, love the texture. looks good this shelf piece on top 
Looks like it always has been there, I think. Tell me what you think. And here are the beautiful hardware, looking perfect. And on the inside, I'm not 100% uh, done on the inside, but what I have done is I have taken these wooden boxes, if you will, that were in our former kitchen. Here you can see the light switches, you can reach them. And this centerpiece there is covering that electric thing that was an eyesore. Perfect. And above the credenza, just between the wool sconces, I will make a painting that will fit right in in a future video. But now on to flip number two. And it's this little piece here. It's a side table or a nightstand, if you will. It has a little drawer, like this one. And on the top, you can lift up the lid and there you can put some things. Perfect for my walk-in closet. So first thing I do is to clean it properly and then paint it with the same color as I used for the credenza, satin, grayish color. And I applied two coats here as well. On the inside of this piece, I will paint it in a black satin color, two coats. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs. I do thrift flips, trash to treasures, some dupes, renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Once it has dried completely I will cover the bottom part there with some wax and, and places where you have a lot of wear and tear but on the black piece on the inside of the drawer I will not put anything and not on the top because I will embellish them with uh, some stencils. You will see in just a moment. So I will start with the top and I have these stencils here, flowers and letters. And I will use the black satin color that I have on the inside. Just dabbing it on with a sponge, like you see me do here, just the one coat. So one flower in the corner. And then I will take the letters and I will write, I am grateful for each and every Every day. It's a nice affirmation, I think. It's kind of a daily reminder to be grateful for everything that you have and every day you wake up healthy and alive still. So now I've written all the words and then I'm going in the other corners and placing those flowers as well. I had messed up a bit so I'm just taking the greyish colour, putting that on. Now I'm on the inside using the greyish colour to just free hunting 
create a beautiful day. So I am writing the words first and, they, and then I go over them again to make the letters pop a little bit more. And once that has dried completely, I go over back and front with my satin finished varnish, only one coat. And then I am done with this pretty piece. And here it is, looking very pretty. I love how it turned out and it fits perfectly in this space together with the credenza. So tell me what you think of my flips today. Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. And if you are inspired, head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more flip ideas. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.